Hey there everyone, Illfactor here. Now in a previous video, I shared with you one of my favorite third-party plugins to use when making beats, and that was BFD. In this one, I'm going to continue showing you how I route those individual sounds using BFD into audio tracks into my Ableton Live sessions. Now this is something that you could do using BFD, Contact, Addictive Drums, and many other third-party plugins allow you to route specific instruments or sounds to specific outputs. So let me go ahead and show you how I do that now. First, I'm going to open up BFD. And within the BFD uh, interface, you have the mixing uh, window. And this might look different for addictive drums or stuff like that. So I'll, I'll run you through addictive drums, and I'll show you how I do that as well on that one. And so here in the mixing window, we have the ability to route the output of each individual uh, instrument. And so what I'm going to do here is this, uh, the kick drums are routed to master and everything's set to the master output which is why it's coming directly out of the output here so what I want to do is be able to have the kick and the snare separated so let's go to the kick and then now instead of the master output let's go ahead and choose stereo 3 and 4 so just by clicking stereo and the way this has it labeled you can do mono or you can do stereo 3 and that basically includes stereo 3 and 4 and now let's go to the snare drum and choose 5 and 6. Stereo 5. Let's make sure that's there. Stereo 5. Okay. So we've got the kick going out of stereo 3. So now if I hit play, I should only be hearing the room mic, which is fine. I'll let that live in this, uh, in this track. So the next step is to create two audio tracks, and I'm creating two because I'm only routing two specific instruments in this third-party plugin. So I'm going to create two audio tracks, one, two, and let's go ahead and call this kick. Let's call this one snare. And here's the important part, is when you're choosing the routing or the input for this individual track, you want to be sure to select the third-party instrument that you're uh, routing the sounds from. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and choose track 2 BFD. Now once you select that as the incoming source of the sound, you go inside the post uh, mixer section and choose which specific input or output of that instrument. So in this case we have the kick living on um, 3 and 4, so I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to repeat the same process here to BFD2 and then we're going to go ahead and choose 5 and 6. Now if I hit play, we still see no incoming signal coming through. So what we need to do is go ahead and choose input monitoring. That way we're able to hear instantly the sounds being routed from the third party plugin, from the BFD to these audio tracks. So now let's go ahead and take a listen to the individual sounds routed to audio, their own specific audio tracks in Ableton. So we now have the kick separated. We also now have the snare separated. And we have the room mic still playing out of the original two track. Now the only thing you got to keep in mind is whatever processing you did to the whole kit as a whole might have to get you know done over again for the kick and the snare because now they're no longer uh, being processed the same. So um, this is just basic, this is just the way you would route individual sounds out so that if you wanted to have them separated for mixing purposes, you could.